traditional catalog product photography used to be about showing what your product looks like on a white background. But if you're selling on platforms like Amazon, there's just one problem. You don't own the catalog. Because you're surrounded by hundreds of thousands of competitors, it's never been more important than ever before to stand out in the listing so you can get traffic and increase your revenue. Market saturation is a real problem that even seasoned businesses need to deal with. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a simple trick that you can use to take your e-commerce product photos to a whole nother level, featuring this toothpick. One of the first things we like to do is get an idea of what the other listings look like. We will then take a screenshot of all the results so we can design our own composition and later do a photo lineup with some sample shots to see how fast our eyes are drawn to our photo, just like it was a police lineup. All right, so what's going on here? Well, one of the ways that you can take your e-commerce product photos to the next level is to create some sort of action in the scene. And one of the simple ways we can do that is by either suspending the products with a wire to make it look like it's floating, or we can use something like this tacky wax, which is an anti-toppling solution to make our product uh, float on the surface exactly where we want and move it around uh, to fit the composition. Now, one of the things that I wanna do here is I wanna create some dimension. And I do that by casting a shadow from the product onto the foam core board. Now I like using this particular board here uh, because I just personally, I like the texture. In order to maximize the scene, what I'm gonna wanna do on the camera is set it to a one-to-one -one crop. And then I need to figure out my composition and make sure that, uh, that I maximize the available space. So let's take some pictures and figure that out. For this shot, I'll be using a Sony a6600 with an 18 to 135 millimeter lens. The camera settings are ISO 100, shutter speed 1 over 200, and the aperture is going to be at f22. The lighting setup is actually quite simple, with a single strip box for the subject and another strobe to light up the background. And BAM! There's our raw image. I know it looks so ugly, but that's okay. We're gonna clean it up. And let me show you the post-processing that I did for this image. So one of the first things that I did was I took three shots at different focus areas, uh, just to make sure that most of the product was in focus. And down here, I merged them together. So once I got everything merged, I used the pen tool and I created a knockout of everything there, which gave us this image here, which I then used a mask to bring back in the amount of shadow from the underlying layer that I wanted. And then I created another layer for uh, my healing and all I did was I just cleaned up a lot of this dust and specks on the toothpicks and on, uh, on my shadow down here. And as you can, you might be able to see, um, there's this nice texture to the shadow, and that's why I liked using the board that I did. And after that, I just gave a little bit of sharpening, sort of a secret sauce to make the image pop out a little bit, and then bam, that's the final image. So let's look at the, the before, which is this, and the final is this. So now let's take a look at our lineup. We get a screenshot of all the results on the page, at least that fill our screen. And we're able to kind of just assess what all these look like. And they're mostly the same, but how does ours look in the stack? Well, we take our picture from here and we put it into here and bam, that's what it looks like among all the other pictures here. Now what the goal here is we wanna assess how fast our eyes go to this picture and whether or not this is something we would want to click on because it is totally possible to create something that stands out but it looks not so good and you would want to just pass over it. I'm in control of this area here and we can see this nice white space and the toothpick kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. Now whether or not anybody wants to click on this and make a purchase, that's what the rest of the listing is for. And bam, that's how you do it. You could take your e-commerce product photos to another level simply by 
giving the illusion of action within the scene and seeing how it looks like amongst all the other listings. So if this video was helpful, please give it a like and maybe share it with a friend and I'll see you in the next one.